Is this Sonic the Hedgehog? The Cave of Harry Hedgehog. Oh, it's Harry the Hedgehog. My mistake. Ooh, there's two ways of getting into this cave, I remember. You can go in this way. Or you can climb a tree and be adventurous. And float up this way. Look at all those red coins you could have missed out on. And this flower. And this key. So yeah, go go the up direction. There's a way to get this egg in here, but I can never do it. I don't feel like messing. Oh my god. Oh look. It is Sonic. It's blue. Well, it's gone now. Okay. Little mice. Oh, my nose is itching me. Okay. Little Sonic. Hey there, but Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Never mind. Oh, I ate you. Look at these mushrooms. Oh, this is my favorite level. Because it's the prettiest, I think. I've already explained how much I love this background. I just, I love that cave feel. Oh my god, okay. What rude little. I'm gonna burn your butt. I just love it because there's like windows and look at how the star shines through. Oh, he came back. I was paying attention to the background. Where you go? Oh, I want to live in this level. What are these things? They look like lollipops. I love them. Yeah. Steamrolled. Come here. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna take a swig of water. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh. Get all these things first. And, ooh. What are there, like... There's, like, pears and grapes, like, hanging down? In the background? Uh-oh. Oh no, oh my god! Ooh. Go on. Digging is always so hard to control. Go up. Work with me. Those aren't important coins. Alrighty. And what? Uh, I'm getting desire to make fan art with this background. That'd be a big picture. I haven't drawn anything that's not on my com- like, for my comic in, like, so long. Whew. I was drawing, like, a picture every day. Cause, um... Ooh! Ooh! Gotta get that flower. Ooh, that's a lot of coins. Um, I went to college for a little bit in 2010, but it was a terrible experience, <laughs> and I never want to go back, but, um, throughout my college years, I, like, had no time to draw or work on, like, my stories that I wanted to work on, because just kept me so busy and I was oh it was an awful time. Mouse, are you alright? Oh a little pokey. Um oops. I wanted to eat you guys. But yeah like after so much like dealing with so much college shit um I dropped out in 2013 so I I went 
I went for just about three years. But like... It was- oh god, it was not for me. Like... I was gonna go for four years. It was supposed to be like a... How do they call it? Um... It was like called 2 plus 2 or something. Like, that was my major I was in. And it was two years graphic design and two years art. And like, together that would get me my own, like, bachelor degree. <laughs> um... But, so I did two year graphic design and I couldn't stand it because I hate advertising. Um... Just me personally, I find no creative, like, passion for advertising, like... It just- advertising just seems so forced to me, and like... I just want to make art. I don't want to, like, force people into things, you know what I mean? What is this? Double monkey. Double monkey level. We'll do this one, too. <clears throat> Monkey's favorite lake! Okay, well, I'm in the lake. Um, but after my two years of graphic design was up, um, I was called into like the office or whatever to discuss my major, and they were telling, they told me that they are dropping that major because not enough people were major majoring in it. <clears throat> and I'm like, but I am. Can I still, like, go through it? Like, through with it? And they're just like, no. And so basically, I lost, like, all of my credits towards that major. And I had to, like, start from scratch. And I was pissed because I spent so much money on, uh, like, textbooks and, uh, just supplies and like going wasted so much time going to these stupid classes that I didn't care about wasn't learning anything that would help me do what I wanted to do which was just you know make comics and stuff and to be fair I didn't go to an actual art school I went to a local university that just happened to have like art and graphic programs and I had a, scholar a couple scholarships to uh, that place from high school, so... I was just like, okay, I didn't really want to go to college anyway, but my family kind of forced me into it, and I let people walk over me, and... Now I regret it, and I have a spine, and I know when to say no. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so after losing, like, my credits, I just kind of jumped into, like, actual, like, art. And, like... It was more for like painting and stuff, which again, I'm not- that's not the kind of art I'm really into. I mean, I, I painted for a while, but like, I just- I, I wanted to do cartoons and comics, but like, everybody treated that shit like it was like baby stuff, like in college. Like, they basically made me feel like I wasn't an artist if I wasn't like- Painting fucking, like, Rembrandt or, you know, Michelangelo shit. I didn't want to paint like that. Man, I just wanted to draw, like, cartoons and shit. And, like, I had one teacher saying that if you, if you draw, if your art looks like those Japanese cartoons, it's not art. And I remember being like, Oh, it's one of these people. Um... Honestly, I think... Anything you create with... Your hands... And your mind... Your feet, even. Anything you create, like... That is, I consider art. You know, someone can put paint on their face and... Just shove their face on a sheet of paper and roll it around. And if they frame it, and it's hanging on a wall, like... That's art. I mean, anybody can do it. Anybody can start anytime they want to. 
but uh yeah nearly all of my teachers in college like shit on anime style cartoon style comic book style oh i just i just did that and uh I don't know, man. <laughs> they just made me so mad. They didn't even like fantasy. Like, I drew fairies and stuff, and... Fairies and wizards, and just, like, goblins and shit. Like, I drew that stuff all the time. And, like, whenever we'd get a project, I would try and, like, go and... Uh, wait, wait, what's going on there? My frame rate. What is that noise? But, uh, I would try and go above and beyond, you know? Like... Let's say... I took a pottery class. And, uh... I can get up there somehow. Ooh! Damn it. Could've sworn there was something up there. But, um... I took a pottery class, and, you know, if they're just like, Alright, let's make... Like, make a pot... Of any, like, shape or design you want. But then, like, I would make mine, like, a really strange, like, shape. And, uh, I would make, like, it have, like, a nose or a mouth and, like, lots of little eyes. Ooh! Oh, I love this thing. It's me. Look at it. It's me. Come here. Me. Slow down. If you jump on it, 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 it poops bubbles. I love it. But, uh... Yeah, so I always tried to just kinda... I was weird with my projects and stuff. But, I made a jar... One time. And he said, get creative with it! And I did! And I gave it, like, eyes and lips and a nose. And he was just like... He gave me, like, a lower grade because it's, it's, like... It was too weird. Oh. Hello there. You, uh... You got something to say? Okay. Oh. I love that thing. Oh god! But, um... Yeah, but just... There was a lot of instances like that, you know? Like... That... That... They just tried to, like, keep everybody in the same category and, like, didn't allow any artistic expression whatsoever. And my god, I can't stand that. Oh, you little ass. Oh, Yoshi's a sprite right now. Looks weird. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so... When I dropped out in 2013, I made so much art that was my own. And that's when I got a Newgrounds account, and I started uploading, like, an art piece a day. And, like, when I was in college, I, I could go weeks without drawing a picture. And it made me miserable. But like after a while, I just kept drawing one pi one picture a day, and like if you check out my Newgrounds, like you can tell how much art I created like starting at 2013, because that's when I dropped out. But uh, ooh, no, I got everything. I'll just go finish up. But uh, it got to a point where. I felt like shit if I didn't draw an illustration every day. But now I'm in a position where I'm actually working on a comic now. But it's really hard to juggle doing a comic and also doing a full illustration every day. So like, I've had to kind of like, bring myself down a notch when it came to like creating illustrations a day so I can work on my comic. Which has been going pretty good. I can do this. I'll do this one in the next level. But, yeah, to- <laughs> I don't know what started this talk, but... 
I'm just- I'm really for artistic freedom. And I understand that the stresses from daily life can really hold artists back. And I just want to let you know if you're an artist or you want to be one, like, you can do it. Like, don't- don't give up. Don't let people run you down. Because I know- I know how hard <laughs> that is when people do that to you. So, just keep- just keep drawing. Just be like Dory from Finding Nemo. D don't- don't keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep drawing. That should be every artist's uh, motto. Just keep drawing. Any pace you can, any pace you want. Just draw whatever makes you happy. But yeah. That felt good to talk about. <laughs> Um, but we'll do this, we'll do this hokey pokey next episode. So I hope you in a, an, enjoyed my little art rant. <laughs> but uh, you take care and go draw something. Yeah, go draw something.